Hi. Just come to talk about Kath. She sent me a text. She wants to know if we're going to go and meet her in the pub still and sign the contracts. OK. What's wrong? I don't know. It's just... The deal is solid. And even though you might not believe it, I know Robert isn't involved, but... For me, it's Kath. There's something off about her. It feels like she's hiding something. Well, I thought we really needed an investor. We do. We don't sign today, we're in a mess. What's the rush, though? I mean, it's not like we're going to starve without this deal. Like it or not, we need it. Maybe when we meet her, we can ask a few more questions. And we won't sign anything unless we're both happy. Sounds like a plan. Right, I'm going to jump in the shower. So what are your spidey senses telling you about Robert? That he's up to something. He usually is. In about an hour. Sounds perfect. Look forward to it. Good morning, my schöne familia. Who's your meeting with? Robert. He's coming round. This is on me, by the way. No, oh, you're all right. You've only just started earning. No, no. Bob said he'll take it out of my wage. At this rate, I'll end up owing him. But I've practically eaten you out of ice and home, so let me do this for you. That's dead nice of you, Tom. Sean's like that cafe picture of you. He wants me to say hello. Well, tell him I'll say hello properly. None of that virtual business. I'll send him your love, if that's OK. Oh, oh excuse me. Oh, <laughs> should we dance? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you two do stuff like that? Cos it's cheesy. Yeah, it's nice to be spontaneous, though. Yeah, there's more to life than work, work, work. Uh, mm. We should go on holiday. It's just a short break and recharge my batteries. Mm. Who'll look after Amelia? Daz can. He's living with her. Might as well get some use out of him. Oh, come on, it'll do a good. Mm. All right, I'll think about it. Maybe in a few weeks. Ooh. Yes? Oh, Daz, will you just clear that table for me? What if we confront her, have an argument, she's not even hiding anything? I know we need the deal, but she is dying to sign. I think we can risk it. I think there's a way of getting the truth out of her without her knowing she's being interrogated. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. You can have the room. Oh, you don't have to leave on my account. Who are you texting? Uh, Belle. She was just asking how I was because of Finn. And how are you? You OK? Yeah, sure. It's just you two work really well together. Yeah, it was, uh, it was all right. Come and help me do some work before I go and meet Kath. Come on. Becca, uh, this thing with Kath, I got Chrissy to lay off with the criticisms, but you've come round to her way of thinking now? A little. I am open to not signing, even if it costs Home Farm its safety net. I won't do this deal if she's not right for us. But don't worry, I'm not stressing out. It'll get sorted, promise. I know it will. Mm. I trust you. <laughs> Can you really just walk away from Kath's money? Oh, it doesn't sound like that's going to happen. My girls know what they're doing. I suppose I'm just... I mean, if you were there at the meeting, you could make sure it goes smoothly. It's Rebecca's deal. I mean, if you're confident that they're not going to scare Kath off, then, uh, you know, you don't need to be there. <laughs> you know what you're doing. Am I allowed to say hello? Or would that just be out of pity? Hi. How's Eliza today? Yeah, she's doing OK. And we might hear from the specialist any day now. But I might be there on my own. How come? It's Jay. Every time I try and talk to him about making plans for Eliza's future, he loses it. Maybe he's trying to convince himself. <laughs> yeah. It's as if, if he buries his head in the sand, she'll be fine. Well, <clears throat> I can't say that I was ever dad of the year, so maybe it's not the same, but if Vanessa and Tracy were diagnosed with something when they were babies, I think my head would be in a spin, too. My head is spinning. But I have to be strong for Eliza. Maybe Jay's like me. And he'll get there in the end. One thing we both know. Even though he's making a mess of stuff, he's doing it because he loves her. 
Yeah, I know that. That is the one thing that's stopping me from lamping him. It's important, though, in the meantime, to keep talking to him. Yeah, I suppose so. See you around. Right, we're off. All right. Is this what I said? No, no, just never to the cash and carry. You go yesterday. Yeah, but I want to check out Squinty Sheila. See if her winking is a twitch or if she's trying it on with Bob. Uh, what are you going to do if it's the second one? Um, make sure she knows we're together. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you should leave me on my own? I, uh, I shouldn't want to stay. I mean, it's only my second day. Well, that's what I thought at first, yeah, but no, she's right. Well, things are quiet. You'll be fine. Yeah, we trust you. Won't be long. Not an hour, sir. <laughs> What? What do you want? Sorry, mate. I've got this. Oh, get it off. Hi. Uh, yeah, what, uh, what can I get you? Can I have a double espresso, please? Come in right up. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. It's all right, I've got him. Well, while he was asleep, I just thought I'd get this done while he was down. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was in a tube, wasn't I? I got waylaid, reading about Emma on the internet. Honestly, what the fascination with that woman is. Well, she shot her son and then someone killed her. And you're obviously interested if you're trolling the internet. I'm sorry about Finn. He was a good lad, but Emma... Well, Myra's done the hoovering now, on top of everything else. Look at you. OK, well, I'll take him from well, the shop. Well, I've got him. Hey, where's all the baby stuff I bought for you? Oh, I tidied them away. They were cluttering the place up. Well, there's a nice baby sling in there. I could put him in it. Might go to sleep if he's close to you. Well, maybe he needs feeding. Do you express any milk? Yes, yeah, in the fridge. Oh! You're so organised. Why don't you go and have a bath? Give yourself a break, you deserve it. Yeah. You know, a smile costs nothing. Yeah, well, uh, if we're swapping clichés, how about the customer's always right? <laughs> You've forgotten your change. Thank you. <coughs> uh, excuse me, love. What are you doing? Last man who called me love in the way you did just now has got his jaw wired up. Your Daz. I'm Rose. Pleasure. I'm a friend of Tommy's. He said to tell you you owe him two grand. Two grand? It's just two hundred look. Well, it might have been once upon a time, but now there's interest. So I'm here to collect. No. I haven't got anywhere near that. Look, you, you tell Tommy I've been living on the streets. I've only just got this job. I, I'll pay. Just not now. Come on, now. How can I give you what I haven't got? Let me show you. Hey, 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 no, 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 hey, no. Ah! Oh, just cos I'm a woman. Don't think I'm easy pickings. Are we cool? 27th of last month, two per. And then the 26th of the month before, two per as well. Well, that's what we build them for, so what's the issue? Oh, sorry. Can I... Can I... Eliza. Oh, no. No, she's, um, much better today. Uh, look, I can see you're busy. It's about yesterday. I shouldn't have been so argumentative. I'm sorry. Thanks. And I wanted to say, we all process things at different speeds. I shouldn't just expect you to fall into line, so I'm sorry too. I appreciate that. If you need more time to get your head round Eliza's needs... This isn't about me being slow. This is about you rushing to a diagnosis. 
We were told we wouldn't know for sure until Eliza was two. We already know. We've known for a while. We suspected it's not the same. If we focus on what she can't do, we'll miss what she can. I didn't come here to fight. No, you came here to bully me into doing things your way. Carry on. What was the next issue? Thanks for keeping an open mind. Why does the sign say closed? Help! She's robbing us! Oi, Missy! Oh! oh. That lippy. Not your colour. Ta ra. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Pub's not ripe for this kind of celebration. Nosy barmaid, if you know what I mean. So I've booked us into a posh restaurant, champagne and everything. That's if we finally get round to toasting it today. Well, before we uh, sign anything, we want a few answers. Well, didn't I answer everything yesterday? Well, we've got some more questions. I've got to be honest, you two are doing my head in, you and your accusations. Damn! OK, now. Oh, don't worry, I'll tell them. What's wrong? Someone tried to run Chrissy down. What? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm a bit shaken up, but I'm... What are you doing here anyway? Well, I came to see how the contracts were going, but who cares about that now? Exactly. I'm glad we didn't sign yesterday because I'm not sure I want to be involved with you. What? All you've done is accuse me of conning you, and now some crazy guy is driving at you. I'm done. Nice not doing business with you. Wait! Give me those. Look, I, I know we've messed you around, but this makes sense for both of us, and, and you know it, so... OK? I don't know. Oh, come on. Look, I haven't been across this much, but I'm telling you, come in with us, and you won't regret this. So please, let's sign these contracts and move past all this. Hmm? Fine. But this better not turn out to be a mistake. I'll be in touch. I saw who was driving the car. What? Chrissy was the target. It wasn't a random thing. Well, who was it? It's Tim. He's back. How much did she say? Not all of it, thanks to Daz. We should never have left you alone. I'm sorry, love. They left you alone? I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but last time you were here, David's shop got robbed. And you set that up. You've been working here a couple of days and... No, no, no. If I'd have set it up, I... Well, I wouldn't have used a woman, would I? Why not? Women can be scary. That one certainly was. Yeah, she sounds pretty hardcore. Yeah, I can vouch for that. No, I'd have... Uh, well, I'd have used a big bloke, just the way my brain works, yeah. So you don't know her, then? <laughs> I've never seen her before in my life. I'd better call the police. Well, there was 150 quid there. How much should have been in the till? Double that. I hope she chokes on it. Yeah, and I want her done for assault if you find her. Yeah, I'm calling them. Look, I'm uh, sorry for doubting you. Sorry, right. I've got four manner. Oh, listen, I'm your brother. I should know when to believe you. How do you even know Tim? Well, I was at home farm and he came round. He was, he was angry. I could see he was a threat. I thought I could handle him. He's a show of loyalty to you all. I thought it was over. I thought he'd gone for good. Chrissy, get some stuff from your place and go to a hotel for a few days. Well, shouldn't we go to the police? I will when you're safe. Now, you and Rebecca, go and get Lachlan and get far away from here. OK. OK, well, be careful. Maybe we should just pay him off. <laughs> Tried that last time. Didn't work. 
Well, if you thought it was take the money or else. Poor Chrissy. She must be pretty shaken up. You tried to kill her, but he got in the way. It's always next time. Hey! 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 Everything all right? Oh, don't get involved, man. I will kill you if you go anywhere near my family again. That's enough, right? Yeah, we're, we're fine. It's just a family squabble. All right, well, remind us not to come round to yours for Christmas. Mm. Hey. I'm not Lawrence. You want to push someone out, you give it a go. I buried my brother thanks to you. I won't be finished until you've buried every single one of your family too. He means it. He wants to kill them all. That's his revenge. Then we go to the police. <laughs> I wish we could. But Lachlan, after what he did to Tim, he could end up back inside and I don't want that. OK, then. Well, I'll fix it. <laughs> How? I'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> I don't know how you kept your cool. Mm, nicely done. As soon as that bumpkin started, I knew he was in the wrong. Well, the main thing is we're not three and a half grand down. So let's break for lunch. I think we've earned it. Maybe you could pop by and see Eliza. <laughs> well, and get into it again with Megan. Look, I don't know who's right or who's wrong, but you've got to try for Eliza's oh, sake. Dad, seriously, I am done negotiating for today. Well, maybe you could start listening instead of biting everybody's head off. And why are you not using your stick? What? Well, after your accident, you needed it. No, I don't. That's my point. What is? You've worked hard to get rid of your stick, even though no one would have thought any less of you because of what you've been through. We see. That's you. Nobody tells you what you can and can't do. I want Eliza to have that spirit. Oh, she's half shown why she'll have plenty of light. No, no, not if we mollycoddle her. Let her cerebral palsy define her. I get that, I do. But if I needed the stick again, then I'd use it. And you have to figure out what Eliza needs. Just go and have your lunch. Both of you. Eh? Yeah, till he starts wailing again. Stew a feed. I'm sure when he's hungry, he will tell us. No, it's down to the parent to decide when. You start pandering to them at this age and you're making a rod for your own back. We're looking at the NHS guidelines, it's called going with the flow. They eat when they want to. Every generation thinks they've got the secret to child rearing, and every generation realizes they don't know anything. Victoria seems to know what she's doing. To be fair, I am loving it. But it is weird having a baby as a brother in law. Wouldn't mind having something to call him, though. Got a name yet? <sighs> a couple. Nothing that's working for me. Do you mind if I pop to the shop then? Seeing as you've got it so well covered, there's a list of stuff that I need to get for the house. It's fine by me. Well, I'll go. Uh, last time you tried to interpret my shopping list, um, no, I'd rather just go by myself. Thanks, love. I won't be long. See ya. Trust you. Have more faith. I will, next time. It won't be a next time. This was a one time only deal, I told you that. Believe me, if I wasn't so broke, no way I'd take your blood money. But now I have, I might need a bit more. Well, that's not gonna happen. I said I'd get rid of you, and now you need to go. If you want the full Houdini, then I need more. Whether it's from Lawrence or from your cut, I don't care. The deal was, you disappear. For good. I could do that. But I told you, this isn't enough. I could always tell him this was your idea, so you could be the hero. 
and save the day. How do you think Lawrence would feel, knowing I nearly hit his pregnant daughter? You never mentioned she'd be there. Be careful. Careful never got me anywhere. I'm being opportunistic. So get me more money, or I tell them you put that pregnant woman in danger. OK, then. Change your plan. Oh, let him buy you a paint. He men. I mean, you wouldn't accept his brekkie this morning and now you won't take his paint. Yeah, I just did what anybody else would do. But I don't deserve it. Hey, you're coming, and that's that. <laughs> do I have to come? I've got that film that we started last night. Oh, and homework, too. Right, well, your homework first. Yeah, of course. Mm. Chrissy, Chrissy, he tried to run you down. Until I know that Tim has gone for good, I want you to stay right where you are. Yes, I, I love you too. I'll, I'll call you. Hmm? What happened? Uh. Whose blood is that? It wouldn't back down. Oh, God. What? What did you do? Well, we fought and... I killed him. We're back in Emmerdale in half an hour.